Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Man, where we're throwing strikes and getting likes, hitting dingers, getting listeners. Back again with another episode where we talk some Brewers baseball. This is the same thing we do every day, 5.30 a.m. Central Standard Time it is the time we upload all of our videos. Uh, they are on YouTube, Rumble, uh, iHeartRadio, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Spotify, Google, Amazon, CastBox, you name it, we are there uh, talking Brewers baseball on the regular um yeah tonight was a little bit of a clunker huh uh just couldn't really put the the uh the runs on the board despite the good pitching efforts by uh freddie peralta right he had the highest whiff rate in this game so that uh we're going right into the good sorry uh we're gonna talk about freddie peralta because freddie peralta was the good um Six innings, seven hits allowed, uh, two runs, uh, both of which were via the long ball. He had 10 strikeouts. Uh, his first time he had 10 strikeouts since May of 2022. Uh, th- this was a nostalgia game because uh, Freddie debuted here over five years ago now. Uh, yeah, five years. Isn't that crazy? Uh, but Freddie was Freddie pitched well, uh, only gave up two runs. We end up losing by three. So I mean, at the end, at the end of the day, another one of these games. It's another one of these games, and they're so frustrating. But they're not as frustrating as being shut out. I can take losing by one run versus being shut out every day of the week. Uh, the bad again, just lack of hitting. I think we highlight the lack of hitting. Far too often. I mean, we had nine hits across the board, scattered, um, but nothing really, nothing really stood out. I mean, it was wasn't be- all that bad. Uh, Tyrone Taylor made his return uh, from injury, no hits on the day. Uh, Joey Weimer had no hits on the day. You know, otherwise, there was Adamas had no hits on the. day. No hits on the day. It just it wasn't it wasn't our day. Um, things just didn't fall right. Uh, Rowdy Telez was the player of the game. Uh, went two for four with two doubles and an RBI. Um, Rowdy continues to hit. That's that's not a story. I mean that's a story, but that's not a story. Um, other than that, we just we got outplayed. One run game. You you can't fault. I mean, you can be mad, but you can't fault the Brewers in a one run game because I mean, sometimes it just falls one way. You know, it's a game of inches. It's a game of one run, one one ball batted in a different direction, and we would have had it. Uh, there was one that was uh, kind of a screamer, and somehow the uh, second baseman managed to get it, and that was. That one, that could have been the one run, you know? Honestly, that, that could have been it. I don't know. I think if you look at overalls of games like this, it's just hard to it's hard to put together um, winning every day when you're playing 162. So uh, we got two more against the Rockies. Let's go take them. You know, that's what it comes down to. Uh, the downright ugly, I don't think there really was anything downright ugly about this game. Um you want to see a few more hits, but I mean, across the board, two runs on eight hits. Uh, they had three runs on nine hits. So, I mean, at the end of the day, can't fault them. Can't fault them one bit. So, we are going into month two. Month, month two of Brewers baseball, and um, some of the big things here are going to be are we going to continue? Uh, to to play like we have been, um, you know, if you look at the schedule for this month, it's it's not it's not. I don't. I guess I don't look at anybody as scary. I mean, you're gonna lose games here and there. Clunker to the Rockies isn't that bad. Uh, but we go into the Rockies, then we got the Giants for three, then we got the Dodgers at home, the Royals at home. Uh, St. Louis on the road at St. Louis, Tampa Bay at Tampa Bay, the Astros, 
the Giants again. Then we go to the Blue Jays on the road. Astros and Giants is a is a home series, so that'll be good to see the Astros and Giants at home. Um, Dodgers Royals. Uh, so we get these AL teams mixed in, which is the new format and the new schedule. I really love it, and I'm going to tell you why. Because this is different than seeing the same old team every time. In the balanced schedule world that we now live in, we are not subject to playing the Cardinals five times in two months. You know, this is only the second, is this the second series? This is only the first series against the Cardinals. I'm sorry. It's second series against a, or no, you know, we did play the Cardinals. We beat them in a three gamer over the weekend. But this is like our third series against an NL Central team. Yeah. Because we played the Cubs once, Cards once, and the Cards again. So, I mean, that's kind of cool in nature. Um, and then, you know, you move along. And and some of these AL teams are better than the NL teams. So it's more exciting to watch the AL teams play us versus the NL team. Plus, you got players that you never see before, you know. Um, you got a role as Chapman, Zach Reiki, uh, Jose Altuve, you know, the Astros. They've got a squad, World Series champs. Um, what can you say? And then we we have our, our first uh, bobblehead of the season coming up on the 13th. Uh, the May the 4th bobblehead is going to be coming out, so that's really cool. Bob Euchre with the Mr. Rogers sweater on. But let's talk about baseball around the league. Um, did we talk about... Um, no, we didn't. Uh, so I am going to start covering more and more things, um, day in and day out. This is, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly is great, but we also want to add more to this show. It's, it's not going to be the same old show every day and it's, it's hard to produce the same old show every day. Um, and that's why we're going to vary it up. We, I think I've already covered that we're holding number four on the MLB power rankings list, according to Major League Baseball. We're going to talk about what the team learned in its first month. Brewers defense. Defense wins games um, is what the Brewers learned. The, the Brewers had a hunch they'd be improved defensively with a free agent pickup of Brian Anderson playing third base, right field, and rookies Garrett Mitchell, Bryce Trang, and Joey Weimer using their speed. But they didn't necessarily expect to be number one defense in baseball by defensive run save. Even after losing Mitchell to a season-ending shoulder injury, Anderson – has been terrific at two positions. Turing's range has made a difference but with the teams no longer able to uphold infielders on one side. The dramatic improvement made by the first-year catcher, William Contreras, has also helped the Brewers make the jump. That's what Adam McKelvey says. Um, so, I like it. I like it. Uh-oh. Comebacker came back at Marlon in his rehab start. <gasps> oh, no. He dodged it, though. He dodged it. We're good. That was such an ugly ball to the face. I don't see it. Play ball. Let's see if they show it. Now, this should be from Appleton. So, they, they sent him up to Appleton to play. Ooh. Oh, no. That's the, that's the Brewers one. That's the Brewers one. Oof. God, that's so ugly. That's so ugly. I wonder if they have the highlight there. Not that I want to see this. I, I watching these where people get hit replays is is horrific. 
just horrific. And oof. I like how Willie's just talking to him. I don't know if they show the minor league one. I really don't think they do. This is the major league comeback here that he got. Yep. Um. No, no, don't show it. Don't show it. That's okay. Um, still scary stuff. As far as minor league stuff goes, um, I haven't really talked about it. I don't really have a, a whole lot of intent on talking too much about it just because our prospects are, are ex interesting and exciting in a certain way, but at the end of the day, they, they fall flat for me. So... Um, I love minor league baseball. I love going to minor league games. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's just kind of the, the entertainment value um, for watching where Jackson Trio is going to be, what Keston Hur is doing right now. He, until I see him play in the majors at a higher level, it doesn't matter what he does in the minors. He's he's already done that. He's been there. He's done that. He's supposed to be advancing. Um, so... I think his comeback road is long, very long. They ain't going to judge him by just a short time in comeback. So that's my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? I know I know, I got a couple Keston fans out there. I know there's a lot of Keston homers that uh, listen to this podcast and that I've chatted with. So. What do you guys think? Do you think Kesson's on his way back? Do you think he should come back? I, I think he needs some more time. I think he needs some more work. I think he... He's got to figure it out. Let's look at the CBS power rankings just to see where we fall on theirs. Race Pirates, Braves, Blue Jays, Orioles, Dodgers. Ooh, they got the Brewers all the way down to eight. They dissed Christian Yelich. <laughs> I'm just looking at the news around the league real quick. Kevin Lux is already back on his feet from ACL and MCL tear. <sighs> Crazy. Yeah, so nothing nothing news and notable that I, I really need to talk about yet tonight. I will change formats. I'll keep working on the show. Guys, we are we are just a short ways into this year, into the season. Um, I'm really enjoying it, having a lot of fun. I, I appreciate that you guys come and listen. Those every day is those people that tune in to me on the regular. Appreciate all of you. So thank you for watching and or listening to the Miller Park Minute. If you do have the time, support us on Patreon uh, and feel like you want to. Uh, Miller Park, or I'm sorry, patreon.com slash Miller Park Minute. Uh, and you can go ahead and support us in a monetary fashion. Or uh, if you want to just use the SeatGeek code and save yourself some off some money at SeatGeek, $20 off with your first purchase with the code Miller Park Minute. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of your night. And as always, go brew.